We're back to talking about making uh, parts and using stuff, materials that are laying around or parts you have to make uh, models. Um, here is here is a model I made with old Airflix parts for Goof Button Pete, a TV comedy show that a guy thought up, and I made this spacecraft for him. Here's a clip of the spacecraft. But you know, when you're making models, you often have a hard, more difficulty thinking out of the box, and which I call out of the box. You think this way, uh, like a horse with blinkers. <laughs> That's what they say, anyways. But you have to think this way, and you know, I worked in the film for 15 years, and that, and I did some different, various things. So, what I'm going to show you is a little bit of some of the ideas and simple things you can do to uh, actually. Uh, expand your parts for your models and sometimes make a part out of something in the house if you keep looking long enough. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, one of the most simple things here and show you an old curtain rail part. So I'll just bring the camera in so you can see. So here's part. a curtain rail part. You know the um, Rollers used to run on the rails and used to have a little split them. All you gotta do is take the pliers and you just force this open here and the wheels pop out. I didn't get it that time but we'll get it. There we go and then the wheels pop out what I call the wheels. Now I'll get them in the little pliers here so you can see them. This is those doctor pliers that lock and as you can see you get a little wheel, great for little Tootsie toys or something. But then you can uh, also um, take the wheel and drill through it and you know you can have it as uh, a design for a gun or something you know and a ship the back of the gun can be the bottom of a turret, right? So there's many options you can use it for once you take it off the old, the um, the rings and that. There we go. So that's one little item. It's you know, it's around the shop. It's close by all the time. Uh, you find them an awful lot of times thrown out in dumpsters, and they're great for using for parts. Now. You know, sometimes you get stuck for a tube and you're going, oh, look, I don't have any tubes in the house. And in fact, what you have is your average pin here, right? And it has a little top on the back usually. And the ink's run out and it's no good. So now you take this top out and you have a little bit of a piece here. I'll put it up in this white. A little piece here that you can use for something on your ship or you can um, take this and chop it and you get a piece of plastic right you get a piece of plastic then it's only turret wide and you can put this little piece on top or you can put maybe uh, like I've done here a little so you can put uh, another piece in there I'll show you what so I've done that I've cut that and now you can take a a chopstick and you just cut it here just at this round part here and you cut it here and here and you take the pen and you make a slot in it and you make a little hole and you take pen let's get the pliers again because it's very hard to see or this here may be better there and you have this piece here a slot which is like a gun right so now you get I don't really have the right nail for it but we'll put this one in and there you go you have your your little nail gun turret thing and if you glue it you can bring her up a bit like this 
and then cut off the back. Or you can take, this is another little small thing, very hard to see these things. This is a famous, you know what, needle that your mom used to use for knitting. You often see them thrown up places. I've cut a little piece off. It had a put a little hole in it. And there you go. It can go on the back of a gun. Oops. I don't have it glued here, so. And then it goes in the turret. Base. Up like that. And you cut off the back. And there you go. You've got a little gun for a battleship. So there you go. It's quite easy to make up things, see? And you still have this little top blue top piece you can use as a as a boat tie for a larger ship and here I have some other objects here's a um, just a plastic raw plug for pushing a raw plug in a wall and expanding it just kept it as parts you never know you might need the stem or something this is kind of neat this is a you know the paper clip ties for um Paper clip ties for binders. As you can see, it bends quite easy. And I often take the caps off, cut them off, and as you can see, they might knit nice little headlights and you know pieces on a ship. If you had a ship, you can put that piece there like that. See, it looks pretty good and epoxied on. We have kitchen cabinet units that have these tops. I'll try to put things aside as I go along and you can put those on a ship and then there's the other type that are higher up like this there this is for a larger ship now and then you can also do this and make it look like a winch for the rope coming in so there you go be a larger model but it would work we can take those out of the way now see what else we got to show you I did this yesterday and I did show it to you, but I finished it off now. This is a pop rivet with a bent nail and it comes through this rivet and then down the other and then I just cut out the back and put a bit of epoxy in and what you get is this lovely piece. I don't know whether that's in focus, but I'll pull it back a bit. There you go. And it can go on a ship as a um, ship wheel on smaller models or it can be a you know, those vent funnels, those funnels you have on ships.